I really do like this car, but it has one big issue, and that is it definitely goes a lot faster than it stops, but I got a solution to that. And that solution is in these boxes. Some much needed stopping power. <laughs> God! Yes, I went ahead and bought new brakes, well, new rotors and pads for the SHO. And uh, they come in the form of these, I mean, just ridiculously heavy boxes oh, <laughs> of brakes from PowerStop Performance Brake Systems. I feel really bad for the people from UPS that brought these. I was really confused as to why these were shipped in separate boxes and then I realized why they did that and why there were two separate shipments for these. So let's go over that right now in a pretty casual unboxing video. So this is going to be a pretty simple unboxing. There's not too much to unbox here. And yes, I've already been in this because I can't help myself, but I'll take a little in-depth look here with the camera. Even though the brake pads are on first, they are not the star of the show here. We'll look at these in a second. The big thing about these brakes are in this smaller box within the bigger box. And of course we got some stickers, power stop stickers here, and uh, looks like a little booklet here, installation guide for the brake pads. Yeah, that's pretty cool comes with pretty easy to understand. Okay, there's step seven through 15. Oh, here we go. It's on the other side. Steps one through six. That's yeah, pretty cool that they give you all that. I mean, I know how to change brake pads, but uh, needless to say, that's pretty nice. All right, a little bit of foam there. And just underneath that is the beefiest freaking rotor I have ever seen. Actually, are these the fronts? I picked this up and I thought this was the front. Uh, no, these are the rear, so. And there was one easy way to tell. I can actually lift these pretty easy. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's take it out of plastic here, just take a peek. I mean, these are really, really nice rotors. And, uh, you know, I don't buy brake components all that often. I'm sure this is a pretty common thing when you buy quality brake components, but it's nice. They, they label on the rotor which one it is, that way you don't get it confused. But if you've seen the front rotors, then you automatically know that these are the rear rotors. So this is rear passenger side, and the other one is labeled as rear driver side. How, uh, how convenient. So these are, I mean, these are extremely nice rotors. See, these I think are like the size of the rotors and thickness that's already on the car. So these are pretty much just really nice factor replacements that are slotted and, and drilled for better performance under heavy braking, which is nice. And they just look great. So that's all of that. And there's really nothing different with the other rotor. If you've seen one rotor, you've seen them all. And it's all the same. No reason to pull the other one out. So now we get to look at the brake pads. So these are the PowerStop Evolution Sport. That's how you know you're getting something for a performance car. Sport. <laughs> uh, the interesting carbon fiber ceramic performance pad. Uh, I mean, really, that doesn't make much difference to me. It's a daily driver. So like seeing carbon fiber in my brake pads is not nearly as nice seeing carbon fiber in the form of body panels or something on the car. So that doesn't really make me feel like I'm getting something special, but it says it's low dust and whatnot, which is just fine. But um, they do seem to be like really nice brake pads. And this is pretty interesting right here. Soon as you open it up, it gives you kind of this little rundown on everything for when they basically just breaking in your brake pads. Go figure out the whole little thing here to ensure, I guess, that they wear um, evenly. So that's pretty cool. And you lift that tab up and you have their own uh, lube, which is nice. Uh, I have some really nice synthetic based brake lube. So I'm not sure if I'll use that or not. Uh, here's some of your retaining clips. 
This is something I thought was really nice that you don't really see in a lot of brake kits, but um, they include the uh, slide pin boots. So that's really neat to see. I'm happy to see that. And of course, you got your brake pads, which they look like, you know, pretty solid brake pads. So far, just from the, you know, initial look over of all of this, it seems to be a very, very nice, well put together and well built brake kit. Now, as nice as all that is, that is just the rear. And really, the hay are not nearly impressive, as impressive as the front. So let me get these boxes switched around. I have a peek at the front brakes. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I can definitely tell these are the front. I have never in my life seen rotors like this. So of course in this we have the kit here for the front and you have all the same components, the clips, slide pin boots, and of course the front pads, which are you know, bigger for the front rotors, obviously. So all of that there, all of that looks really nice. Pretty much the same thing as the rear, just bigger form. Then you got more stickers and more just stuff that they include. But you know, it's nice. It's nice to see this. I mean, this is really nice booklet here. It's nice gloss paper. It's really well put together product. You know, I think they are doing a really good job with how they advertise and everything. So it's like you're getting a premium product, but you're not paying a premium price. And I like that, you know, that's always nice, especially for a car like this that isn't a race car, um, but it could use an upgrade. <laughs> and of course, here is the installation guide for this set of rotors and pads, so there's that. Now, the grand finale, what we have all been waiting for, these, I mean, freaking ginormous, God, rotors. These are massive. And they might not look like it, but look how thick that is on the camera. Actually, you know what? Let me get one from the rear and I'm gonna compare them. So for comparison, here is the rear rotors, which if I do believe if I'm correct, these are very similar to the thickness of the factory rotors. Now let's compare them to these monstrosities that are the new front. Look at that. That, that is, this is twice the thickness of the rear. That is crazy. This is the most heftiest rotor I have ever seen, which kind of sucks in a way because while this will be great for, you know, um, obviously it's gonna last a while being so thick and it's gonna dissipate heat a lot better, but I feel like you're just adding a lot of extra weight rotating mass i mean this is probably i mean i haven't weighed it but just going off the arm meter here i would say this is a good 40 50 pounds i don't know man that's that's got weight to it i really felt bad when the ups guy was bringing this up he looked like he was struggling a bit but you know after working all day he's probably a little tired and then i went to go pick the box up and i about had to give myself a hernia these are just beastie, beastie rotors. So I don't think we're gonna have any problems stopping. I mean, this is just, this is, is how I feel about them. I just feel like I just need to do this instead of going to the gym. I mean, they might as well just be weights. So there really isn't much more to um, unboxing than that. So, you know, one, that rotor is no different than the other rotor and so forth. So that's pretty much it to that. I just cannot, I'm, I'm blown away, honestly, about just how beefy these are. I mean, this car is going to be able to probably, not, now it should be able to stop quicker than it can go. Maybe, possibly. I'm gonna have to test that. I do think these are gonna be a great addition to the car and it's going to serve its purpose and slow the car down, which is incredibly important. Uh, just as important as going quicker, um, faster and straight line, you need to slow down as well. And yeah, time has finally come. And like I said, I've just blown away 
by how these rotors are. I mean, I'm just, I'm really happy with the product altogether. I think the products themselves are pretty solid. Um, packaging, is, everything was well packaged. I didn't see any problems with any of the parts. I think it's nice what they give you in uh, all of it with the installation guides and the break-in guides. Well, as soon as you open the pads, you know, I personally have not seen that on other products. But then again, this is my first time really buying a product like this. So this is definitely gonna be something new for me, something new ex to experience in terms of performance parts. So I've never really experienced this level of performance brake parts. See now in the Cobra, I do have these type of brakes. I think they're actually the same brand, but they were on the car before I got it. So I don't really know the difference on something like a newer car like the SHO. So I'm really excited to see what that does and the difference that these brakes can make. With that said, I will have a separate video of just putting them on, obviously. It's not gonna be a tutorial, but it'll be fun to see. I wanna do a weight comparison between the old rotors, even though they're a little worn down. I just wanna compare, especially those front ones, um, to these and just all the components to what's on there. And that'll be kind of fun to do that. And uh, obviously there will be a braking test of how these perform. Utilizing the draggy, I do believe that there is a 60 to zero measurement that you can do on that. So that'd be a fun test. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it before. Uh, even if I did, it's not really fair comparing it to worn out factory brakes because it's not really, it's more like, you know, it's apple to oranges versus apple to apples or whatever. I'm sure there's some specs on braking performance with the stock SHO. So I can just use my numbers and compare it to what's already out there. And I'm sure we can make a conclusion from that. Yeah, as you can see here, these brakes, the front aren't too bad, but these, uh, these rear, man, these have seen better days and all of this. I mean, this is, this is pretty rough. I think this is the end of these brakes. And just like that, that will be the end of this video. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, keep a lookout for the next video.